So in this part of the lecture, we're going to learn about factors and multiples. Multiple of a number is the number that you get when you multiply that number with another number. Okay, so let's have a look at three basic examples. First question says, list the first five multiples of seven. So remember, a multiple is simply a number that you get when you multiply a specific number with another number. So, the first five multiples of 7 would be 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times 5 is 35. So effectively, you're just basically listing out the times tables for the number 7. Question 2 asks, list 4 multiples of 10. Now these can be any multiples, they haven't asked us to do this in order. So 10 times 2 is 20, that's one multiple. 10 times 4 is 40, that's another multiple. 10 times 7 is 70, which is another multiple. And then 10 times 12, which is another multiple, gives us a 120. Finally, we have, is 15 a multiple of 5? What about 23? Okay, so let's work with 15 first. Now, does the number 5 go into the number 15? Yes, it does. 5 times 3 gives us a 15. So yes, 15 is a multiple. What about 23? Is, is there any number in the fives table that goes into 23? Nope, there's not. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20, and 5 times 5 is 25. So there's no number that goes into um, 23 in the fives table. So 23 is not a multiple of 5. Okay, so let's go through two more examples. First question, which of the following numbers are multiples of 9? So, we have 18, 23, 36, 48, 72, and 84. Let's have a look at 18. 9 times 2 gives us 18. So yes, that's a tick. So 18 is a multiple. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27. So 23 is not a multiple of 9. 9 times 4 is 36. So 36 is a multiple. Tick. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 6 is 54. So 48 does not come up in the 9's table. So 48 is not a multiple of 9. 9 times 8 is 72. So 72 is a tick, which is a multiple of 9. 9 times 9 is 81. And 9 times 10 is 90. So 84 does not come up in the nines tables, so 84 is not a multiple. Okay, so let's have a look at the second question. It's a multiple choice. Choose the correct answer. Which is the only number that's not a multiple of 12? 36, 42, 60, or 72? So let's have a look at 36. 12 times 3 gives us 36. So 36 does come up in the 12's times tables, so 36 is definitely a multiple. Let's have a look at 42. 12 times 1 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36, 12 times 4 is 48. So 42 does not come up in the 12's times table, so our answer has to be 42. 12 times 5 gives us 60, so 60 is obviously a multiple, and 12 times 6 gives us a 72, so 72 is also a multiple. A factor is a number that divides exactly into another number with no remainder. Factor pairs are combinations of two numbers when multiplied together give you another number. So those two numbers are effectively factors of that number. So let's have a go at a couple of examples. The first question says, list the factor pairs of the number 30. Okay, so we need to think about all the combinations of two numbers when multiplied together give us the number 30. Okay, so let's start from the start. There's obviously 1 times 30. There is 5 times 6. There is 3 times 10. There is 2 times 15. And those are all the factor pairs. So the way you would write this is 1 and 30 is one factor pair. 5 and 6 is another factor pair. 3 and 10 
is another factor pair, and 2 and 15 is also a factor pair. So the number 30 has four factor pairs. Another question is, find all the factors of 14. Very similar question, and I would approach it the same way. So again, think of numbers when multiplied together, give you the number 14. So there's obviously 1 times 14, and there is 2 times 7. Uh, 14 doesn't have any other factors. So all the factors for 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. Okay, so let's go through another couple of questions. Which of the following is not a factor pair of 18? So let's have a look. 2 times 9 is 18, so it is a factor pair, so that can't be the answer. 3 times 6 is 18, so it is a factor pair, so that cannot be the answer. 4 times 5 is 20, so that is not a factor pair, so that is the answer. And finally, we can just cross this one off as well. So 1 times 18 is 18. So obviously, that cannot be the answer. Okay, so the next question is, which is the only factor of the number 24? Okay, so let's have a look. Does the number 24 come up in the fives tables? 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 15, 20, 25, 30. So no, 24 um, does not come up in the five. So 5 cannot be a factor for the number 20, 24. Uh, next is 8. So again, let's go through 8. So 8, 16, 24, up. So 8 is obviously a factor of 24, since 8 times 3 gives us 24. And let, just to cross off the other ones, 9, 18, 27. So 24 does not come up in our 9s, so 9 cannot be a factor. And finally, 10, 20, 30. Again, 24 does not come up in our 10s, so 10 can also not be a factor for the number 24.